My character's name is Diego. He is a very happy-go-lucky guy. Uh, you know, he's a bit of a lovable mess. You know, he's the older brother, but really <clears throat> the, di the dynamic between Danny, played by Natalia, and Diego, she's really like the older one, or acts like the older one in the, in the relationship. He's not very organized. He's a dreamer. He's always kind of like in, you know, living in his own world. He loves music, wants to be a uh, singer, musician. Looks so easy, so cool, and wow, like you just don't realize like all the, you know, the, the tiny seconds and when Tim would come up to us and you know, it'd be 110 or 115 degree weather shooting in this old beaten up Ford with no air conditioning. He's like, okay, so this part is right after the second turn when the, when the, when, when the, when the, when the, when the Rev 9 crashes through this and then it's after the fifth turn over here and you're just, you're just so lost because it's, you're shooting a, you know, a second a tiny moment in this huge puzzle. It's, uh, it's fascinating. The coolest thing about those movies is that if you watch them now, they still hold up. Because it's not about the effects. It's about the characters and it's about the danger and the tension and how you very well described, you know, Terminator doing whatever it takes to, to, to neutralize the target, you know, and that, and that you know, uh, Linda and Arnold, I mean, did such an amazing job at, you know, grounding it and making it believable. That's what I think is amazing about those movies, that they still hold up. And that's what's really exciting about this film. That's what I think Tim and James want to achieve. You know, obviously technology has improved, it's evolved, you know, things you can do today are, you know, way different to what you could do back in the day. So, uh, and if someone knows how to work with special effects, it's Tim, you know, so uh, that's, that's his specialty. Uh, but they're not just leaning on that, you know, they're really trying to show the emotion, uh, in these characters and just making it as grounded as it as it possibly can be. Helping Eric, uh, who's our dialect coach, uh, with a lot of the actors, because there is a big difference between uh, the way uh, Spaniards speak Spanish and Mexicans speak Spanish. There's a massive difference. It's just like Britain and 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 the U.S. Very similar. I mean, it's like you can tell the difference right away. And um, I, I spent a lot of hours with him, uh, helping him and helping the other Spanish actors get rid of their Spanish accent to uh, turn the Mexican accent up. Uh, and I was, I was happy to do that, because to me it was just, that, you know, the devil's in the details. Uh, and then when we actually shot the scenes on the day, I was, Shocked! It it look, I felt like I was in Mexico City from the cabs to the buses, which are called microbuses. Uh, everything. I mean, the the street signs, the the food, even, even the smell. I was like, man, this smells like Mexico City. And uh, I, I I went immediately up to Monica and to the art department. I was like, wow, guys, you you guys killed it.